everybody, it's your girl, Miss Paige. And on today's episode, it's all about creativity and trying something new. But first, let's say hello. Hola, Miss Paige. Hola, Miss Paige. One hand in the air and the other hand in the air and wave them like you just don't care bring them down and for your face make a stage bring them together and with your hands turn the page <sighs> yeah repeat after me hola miss page hola miss page Hola, Miss Page. 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 Perfect. Hello, friends. Welcome. On the count of three, I want you to share your name with me. One, two, three. <laughs> Perfect. I'm so glad you're here and it's nice to meet you. On today's episode, it's all about creativity and trying something new. Hmm. Creativity. I'm sure you've heard that word before. Let me see if I can tap it out. Creativity. Yeah. Can you try it with me? Creativity. Yeah. So what does creativity mean? Do you think you know? Tell me in five seconds. Go. Ah, you got it. So if you said creativity is something like using your imagination to create, then you are correct. Creativity can look like a lot of different things. Maybe it's creating something new or problem solving, or maybe it's facing fears or breaking your routine to try something new. Maybe it's a little bit about thinking extra hard outside of the box maybe thinking in an unusual way or in a way that you may never have thought before. You know, we have a few friends who can help us to say creativity in different languages. Let's check them out. Creativity. Creatividade. Creatividade. Kalpana. Sozoryoku. Creativitet. Coherente. Thanks, friends. Today's guests are no strangers to creativity. So let's meet them, shall we? My first guest is Brian Quijada. He is an actor, a playwright, and a composer whose original work has been developed all over the country. His hip hop solo show, Where Do We Sit on the Bus, has been produced at the Victory Gardens, Teatro Vista, where he got a Jeff Award, Ensemble Studio Theater, Drama Desk nomination, Boise Contemporary, First Stage, and City Theater, Pittsburgh. His plays have been developed at the Millennium Stage at the Kennedy Center, Pittsburgh CLO's Spark Festival, Victory Gardens Ignition Festival, New Stage and Films Powerhouse Festival, and the Eugene O'Neill Theater Center's National Music Theater Conference. Friends, let's welcome Brian Quijada. Our next very esteemed guest is Jacinia Iglesias. She is an actor, teacher, writer, and activist, whose work has been seen on many, many stages, including the Kennedy Center, 
Ford's Theater, Shakespeare Theater Company, Folger Shakespeare Theater, Signature Theater, and Imagination Stage, among others. Jessenia proudly represents her hometown of Ponce, Puerto Rico. Let's welcome Jessenia! <laughs> Let's bring all our guests out. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. Hey. And welcome to our episode that is all about creativity and trying something new. Brian, when are you the most creative? Uh, I, I'm most creative when I've had an, a, a, an experience, not an everyday experience. So if something really peculiar happens to me during the day, during the day I, 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 I meet somebody who says something that sticks with me or, or uh, you know, it used to be back in the day where like, you know, I was having feelings about uh, you know, someone, and I was just like, oh, God, I, I, gotta, I, need to, I need to express myself, I need to express my love in a poem or a song or whatever. Uh, it would be because I was feeling that way. Uh, emotions or the news kind of were inspiring me to create something based off of that inspiration. Yeah, so I would say the same. I would say not so much in the morning, but I have a middle of the day kind of time. I like to, like for the, the other day, the meteor shower really inspired me at like two in the morning. So I wrote a song about it mm. um, or like something that I see on the news. Like when I see what's going on in other parts of the world, sometimes that stuff inspires me. Um, if I feel like I want to inspire someone else, I feel like a friend or someone's birthday is coming up. Like I like to give them a gift. And so that in like the person inspires me. Ooh. Um, yeah. yeah, but I would say like it's sporadic, it's middle of the day, it's at night, it's at two in the morning, it's whenever it hits. It's your turn. When are you the most creative? Thanks for sharing. Have you ever tried something new? Oh yeah? Tell me about it. Oh. Huh? Really? Yeah. Trying something new means to be super duper curious. To question everything around you. To be extra thoughtful. <gasps> to question everyone around you. And maybe you can dig deeper. It makes you want to explore, to investigate. Yeah. Trying something new has always been a part of my creativity. Yep, it's that time. Time to hear try something new in different languages. Repeat after my friends. Try something new. Try on a new language. Try something new. Experimente algo novo. Probiere etwas Neues. Jim Luis. Thanks, friends. Here's Brian and Jacinia with a little more about trying something new. Okay, so you both have tried something new, but I've got some for you that I want to see if you and our viewers at home have tried. Are you ready? ready. If you have tried that thing, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't tried that thing or are still a little apprehensive or a little scared, maybe thumbs down. If you want to try that thing, to the side. <laughs> you got it? So if you've tried it, thumbs up. Haven't tried it, thumbs down. Maybe. <laughs> it's maybe <laughs> to the side. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Have you ever tried sushi? Okie dokie. Have you ever tried sledding in the snow? <gasps> okay. Have you ever tried watching a scary movie at night? <laughs> I 
Zenya. <laughs> I tried it. It's just scary, but I tried it. <laughs> Have you ever pet an iguana? <laughs> I'm from an island. I've that's had right. You've got lots of <laughs> around you in Puerto Rico. That's right. Everywhere. I'm willing to do it. I've never done it. Okay. And now, Brian and Jacinia, you get to ask. So think of maybe one or two. And then myself. We'll all try it. Whoever wants to go first can. Have you ever tried chocolate covered crickets? I haven't, but I would. I would. I would, I have to say. Protein. 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 Oh, that's a good one. Um, have you ever tried one of those bungee, bungee, bungee cord jumps? No, but I'll do it. <laughs> I don't do think it. I will ever do that. <laughs> I would, I would, totally. Yeah. yeah. Um, have you ever tried to take a bone out of a dog's mouth? I think I have. I think I have too. <laughs> 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 Let's see if we can do a couple more. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here's one that I recently tried. Have you ever tried... Um, like painting a picture for someone to hang on your wall. <laughs> I'll try it. Yeah. Yeah. I painted a flamingo for my friend's wedding. Oh my God. She oh on my. her wall. Did they love it? Yeah, yeah, she loved it. Something new that I tried that I was scared to try and I did it and it turned out well. Good for you. <laughs> Ooh, have you ever tried to sing really, really loud in the shower. <laughs> Paige, what? What do you mean? I don't know. It's so loud in the bathroom. <laughs> Wait, you're actually supposed to sound more beautiful in the shower. Yeah. It's great in acoustics day, in the shower. I have to just commit and sing super loud in the shower. Yeah. Yeah. Start low and, then, and start low like, ooh, and then just get higher. Even if it's really bad? Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, going oh, 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 oh. that's what it sounds like. It's not going to be. <laughs> if the dogs in the neighborhood start singing with you, then that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Ooh, maybe. Good sign. <laughs> Perfect. Have you, okay. ever, have you ever tried petting a snake? You python. You pet a python. Where were you? They're actually a lot smaller. Softer, not slimy per se. It's a very different kind of texture. I was at a Fourth of July uh, a picnic festival, and a guy had a python on, wrapped around him, and I said, "Can I pet that?" <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. And when you went to go pet it, were you really nervous or scared? I mean, I, it looks like he had it under control, and I knew that. If the python is scared, that's when you sort of take some precaution. But if the python feels like it's safe, then you're safe. It's when animals get scared, that's when you have to be careful. Mm. And was your heart beating fast when you were trying it? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> and then did you feel really proud when you were finished? I did because I because I was like I did that thing like I did the thing that people are like like well, who isn't scared of petting a python or a snake unless you really like those kinds of animals I was like I did I did it and it was it was pretty big wow. yeah it was pretty thick <laughs> but it was just hanging out you know hanging out for the July why not why not <laughs> I mean why not. <laughs> Great. Well, we can all continue to try something new because it puts us through all of the emotions, right? A little nervous, a little proud, maybe a little afraid, accomplished, but all good things. It makes you feel alive. Yes. <laughs> okay. It's your turn. When is the last time you tried something new?
Thanks for sharing. This next piece was written by me. It's called Unlikely TikTok Stars, and I got some special help from my friends at La Jolla Playhouse. And guess what? Jacinia and Brian are gonna try it on. Try something new. My play for the first time. This play also gives a great example of what you can do to be creative and also how you can keep trying new things. The other cool thing about this play is that you and your family can also perform it. Just check it out here and there you can download the play for free. But now let's jump in to Jacinia and Brian starring, featuring in my play, Unlikely TikTok Stars. Mm. <laughs> well that was fun it was really nice and i can't believe it only took us twice but that's because you really teach well you're just saying that no i can really tell i'm savage classic bougie magic hey, hey sassy moody nasty hey <laughs> Oh, this is so bizarre. Face it, because now... I'm a TikTok star. Hey! <laughs> What's up with you? Are you buttering me up? Huh? Last week, we weren't speaking. You were acting all tough. One, condescending. Two, that was real. No act here. I'm hard to steal. Okay, okay, okay. No big deal. See, it's this constantly calling me out. You never dig deep. Never figure me out. You never open up. Just tough steel disguise. I ask simple questions. You just roll your eyes. Simple. I see. You don't know me. Layers like an onion. Never easy. Hold on. I've been trying. Two years straight. I wouldn't wait for my fate, so I became fresh bait. A blind date with my love sealed the deal. They told me you weren't easy. They told me how you'd feel. Both of you, clueless, never considered my grief. Mourning is a bear. It stole my joy like a thief. Every day is a test. I don't always know best. I can't imagine at your age putting a parent to rest. I guess what's best is for me to just listen. Get out of your way. Don't cloud your decisions. Look, I just need more time. At your own pace, I support your vision. I don't take their place. Thanks. No problem. Appreciate. I know. Are you listening? Yeah. <laughs> Try to go with the flow. How about this? I'll come to you. If I pull my ear, you listen. Rub my heart, let's talk. I may not get this right, but at least it's a start. Deal. I'm trying, and I won't give up. Just know around me, you, you don't have to be so tough. You're right, but wait. There's more on my mind. I've already asked you this 15, 11 times. Oh, I see. This stems from last week. Quarantine blues in and out of bleak. I peak, I dip, I'm weak, I'm tough. Happy, sad, I was fit, fit now fluff. Just looking for... Happiness in the now. But where to begin? Oh, I think I know how. I thought about it. I'm over it. And you're right. Balance is good. Risks are all right. Say more. Or I'll say less. Let me show you improve. I saved the link. And now you approve? Go crazy, be happy, and I'll do it too. You're serious? No joking? After all I put you through? Yep, clean slate. What do we have to lose? Why wait to be happy if we can instantly choose? Make overnight! <laughs> they won't recognize us when we're through. Who knows? We might gain some new viewers, too. OMG! More TikToks than this? You really do care. We're tough as steel now. We'll be savage hey. with unicorn hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was fantastic.
fantastic. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Jacidia. Thank you, Paige. Thanks for trying something new. <laughs> Absolutely. This is great. Thank you, Paige. Yeah, okay, friends, here's your chance to try something new. It's time for our dance party. <gasps> try a new move. Use a different body part. Explore your room. Maybe try on an eyebrow dance. Be as creative as possible with your imagination. Today's beat comes from Corner Store Music and features trumpeter Dre King. And it also happens to be my theme song. Okay, I hope you're ready. Let's get this party started in five, four, three, two, Easy. All you have to do is repeat after me. Oh my, Miss Page. 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 today's episode on creativity and trying something new. And until next time, be true, be you, be fly. Repeat after me. Adios, Miss Page. Peace out, Miss Page. That's Viranya, Miss Page. Namaste, Miss Page. Adios, Miss Page. Ha, ha, ha.